elasticity. The term, uh, the literal meaning of this word is how uh, to how the relationship between two items change. Okay, so when we are talking about two things and their relationship, so in the elasticity we are talking about how they tend to change. So the most common thing that is being studied here is the price elasticity of demand. So from this term, we, it, it means that how, how the link between price and quantity demanded uh, uh, could change. So in, in other words, the definition of elasticity is, it is the sensitivity of the quantity demand to the price of the product. So elasticity tends, uh, tends to tell us how the two are connected with each other. Okay, so their interconnection explains uh, the way they tend to change. So let me give you a few, few background and then we will go towards the video and the, the detailed definition and examples are provided. Let's, let us make a diagram. So this is our y-axis, make it straight. And then this is our x-axis. So here we have a demand curve and I will label it. So here there is prices are here and quantity demand is here. Okay, so we already know it is negatively sloped and uh, so this is a demand curve. And if you pick any point here, so let's say if you pick any one point, it will give you a quantity demand for a particular price. Or if you pick this point, it is also quantity demand, quantity demand. So if you pick any particular point, it means you are actually doing what? You are fixing the price and you are finding what is the quantity at that price. So for this price, this is quantity demand. And for all prices, this is demand curve. So this was the difference between quantity demand and demand. So what I will do is that the today's topic is explaining that the slope of this line. So, so we discussed in the last class that demand is actually a psychological formula. Ecological formula. It means there's a there's a uh, unknown formula which is in our head. So it's in our head, unknown formula. What we do is we get the value of price and we tend to do quantity demand. So it means there's a calculator in our head and it's a psychological calculator. We don't know what is an exact formula that we tend to use when we decide what to buy. But the, the function of formula is that when we go to the shop, we ask the seller to tell us the what's the price of the product. He gives us a price. We listen that price value. We think in our head and then we say, pack us, pack me this much quantity. Okay, so this formula is giving us uh, the uh, a formula that is uh, that is helping us to decide how much we are going to buy based upon the given prices. Okay, so the today's topic, the elasticity is talking about when this formula changes. Okay, so there are several factors that can change this formula, specifically in this uh, price elasticity of demand. So uh, I will give you the, the, the following link. will provide you the video for the price elasticity of demand. So you can uh, follow up after this video uh, that how to uh, study the price elasticity of demand and what are the details. But in short, what we are talking is that in elasticity we talk about when does demand curve have this angle and when does it have this angle or when does 
when does it have this angle? So, so elasticity actually explains us, let me write it here. So elasticity actually explains the reasons for the change in the angle of the curve. So uh, previously we were talking about the reasons for the shift of the curve. Now we are talking about the reasons for the change in angle of the curve. So if we are studying demand curve, then the relevant elasticity is the price elasticity of demand and it will tell when the demand is elastic means uh, elastic or inelastic. So there, the elastic means that it is a, a very very horizontal so let me write it here so elastic slash horizontal or flat and inelastic means steep or vertical so it will explain when does the curve change from one form to another so hopefully you understood what is the background of today's topic and in the following video uh, will help you to understand uh, the four types of elasticities that we are going to study. Okay, so I am writing their names here so that you can understand. So the first type is price elasticity of demand. Second is income elasticity of demand. Third is cross price elasticity of demand. And last is supply price elasticity of supply. Okay. So this is our topic and the remaining video will help you to study the detailed discussion on each topic.